Hello and thank you for watching. Today I am going to show you how you can use your camera with Lightroom and a tether tool. The tether tool will connect your camera directly to your computer, which allows you to store the images on your hard drive right away and change settings from your computer and like the lighting, shutter speed, ISO and so on. So you'll have them available in Lightroom right away and you can see your results on a bigger screen than the back of your camera. I only started using tethering tools fairly recent. I bought one a while ago and now that I'm continuing into product photography a bit more it's very useful for that purpose um, the main thing you have to watch out for is that you have a camera that is connected to your computer by cable all the time so you have to be careful not to trip over it because it's probably going straight through the room to your computer and into your camera that's probably on a tripod so that's one of the things to look out for when you are tethering your camera um, I own and use the Nikon Z6 at this moment and I have a USB-C cable from Tether Tools, the Tether Pro cable. So you're just going to plug the USB-C cable into your camera or whichever cable suits your camera. I'm going to place it on the tripod here next to me. And don't forget to turn on your camera for this. And now we can go to Lightroom. Once we're in Lightroom, you're going to go to File, Tethered Capture, Start Tethered Capture. Your camera has to be on for this. And here you can do the settings for your Tether session. Uh, so first you're going to give it a name. For this one I just use Tether Tutorial. And I like to do it by session name and then a sequence number. So all the files get the same naming convention. Let's start this one at one. Um, for destination, I store it on my D file or D share drive uh, in a specific tether folder. So within that folder, it's going to create subfolders for each session that you create with a unique name. Um, you can also straight add it to a collection into Lightroom. I don't use that at this moment because I like to pick the images that I want to add to a collection. Um, I'm not going to add any metadata or keywords for this example. So we're going to press OK. And it's going to detect the camera. So for me it's the Z6. You can also have multiple cameras connected. And we haven't taken any photos yet. But as you can see on the left, it created the separate Tether Tutorial Session folder. Um, so let's just click Capture. And it's going to capture the first image. And here you can see the basic settings to change. Shutter speed, aperture, ISO, white balance some development settings, presets and you can go back to the tether capture settings as you can see the image is not sharp at this moment so I'm just gonna press the button of the camera Only to focus. You can also click the camera button to capture. And we'll add it within the tethered session. 
So you don't uh, have to be at your computer to take images or change settings. You can do both. You can use the camera settings and buttons or you can do it from your computer. So you can change the shutter speed. There's no live view as far as I'm aware of in Lightroom uh, where other software packages might have a sort of live view to see what you're changing. So when changing the shutter speeds a bit over now, you can see your histogram right away and you can change the settings accordingly. So for me it's very useful to have this as a tool for product photography. And you can see what changed straight away. You can yeah you just have a bigger screen to work with and you can choose to add some highlights check if you're over or under with the masks uh, from lightroom so that was it for this video um i don't know if you used tether tools before i like them so far it's just as i mentioned watch out for the cable try not to trip over the cable and smash your camera to the ground that's not a good thing or rip the computer off your desk or laptop from the table there are some tools provided by tether tools like jerk stoppers um, they help it a bit but the cables are bright orange for a reason it's that everybody can see especially in a busy studio environment it's a risk and you have to keep that in mind so let me know in the comments below what you think about this video if you like the concept and the setup and if you would like to know more and yeah leave a like subscribe and i hope to see you in the next video goodbye